We delve into the profound wisdom of Gautama Buddha. What it truly means to have no friends, is it a reflection of one's character or circumstances today to uncover the truth behind solitude? In this video, we will explore the Buddhist perspective on friendship and isolation. A lack of friends doesn't necessarily indicate that a person is unlikable or flawed. Instead, it can reflect a period of self-discovery and growth in Buddhism. Solitude is often seen as an opportunity to look inward to meditate and to develop self-awareness without distractions. Buddha taught that true friendship is based on mutual respect support and a shared journey towards spiritual awakening. So if you find yourself without friends, consider it a moment to reconnect with your inner self and the teachings of Buddha. Remember in the words of Buddha, be a lamp unto yourself. Embrace the silence for it is in the quiet moments that we often hear the loudest. 1. Solitude, a misunderstood solitude, a misunderstood aspect of life. Aspect of life in the bustling world where social connections are often equated with success and happiness. Solitude is frequently misunderstood. The Buddhist perspective, however, offers a refreshing view recognizing solitude as a valuable state that can lead to profound self-awareness and spiritual growth. The value of solitude in self-reflection solitude provides a rare opportunity for introspection, allowing one to confront and understand their deepest thoughts and emotions without the influence of external voices. It is in these quiet moments that one can truly listen to the stirrings of their heart and the whispers of their mind. The misconception of loneliness often solitude is mistaken for loneliness, a negative state associated with isolation and sadness. Buddhism distinguishes between the two, teaching that solitude is a chosen state of being alone without feeling lonely. It is a conscious decision to seek silence for personal and spiritual development, a practice of meditation and solitude. Meditation, a core practice in Buddhism, thrives in solitude. It is a deliberate act of turning inward to observe the nature of one's existence. Solitude provides the perfect backdrop for meditation, free from distractions enabling one to achieve deeper states of concentration and insight. Solitude as a path to enlightenment. The Buddha himself exemplified the importance of solitude by spending significant periods in seclusion, contemplating the nature of reality. It was through such periods of solitary reflection that he attained enlightenment under the Bod tree. The balance between solitude and social interact action while solitude is cherished. Buddhism also recognizes the need for balance engaging with others is essential for testing and applying one's insights. Therefore, solitude and social interaction are seen as complementary aspects of a well-rounded spiritual life. Embracing solitude as a spiritual tool in conclusion. Solitude in Buddhism is not an indication of social failure or emotional lack, but a powerful tool for spiritual awakening. It is a state that when embraced can lead to greater self-knowledge, peace, and ultimately liberation from the cycle of suffering. Solitude is a friend to those on the spiritual path, a sacred space where the seeds of wisdom can be sown and nurtured to succeed. 2. The Significance of Friendship in Buddhism in the Intricate Tapestry of Buddhist Teachings Friendship is not merely a social convenience, but an important element of spiritual practice. The Buddha placed great emphasis on the company one keeps asserting that friendships can profoundly influence one's path to enlightenment. Kalana Matata, the beautiful companionship, it refers to the bond shared by individuals who are committed to the noble pursuit of Dharma, the cosmic law and order. Such friendships are rooted in a mutual aspiration for truth and liberation from suffering. The mirror of Dharma, true friend in the Buddhist sense, acts as a mirror of Dharma, reflecting back the qualities and faults one may fail to see in oneself. They provide honest feedback, encourage moral conduct, and the community of noble friends. The SAA, or the community of monks and nuns, extends the concept of friendship to a collective level. It represents a fellowship of individuals who live in harmony, sharing insights, and supporting each other's spiritual growth. The SAA is a testament to the power of collective virtue and the shared journey towards awakening friendship. As a reflection of inner qualities, Buddhism teaches that the friends one attracts are often a reflection of one's inner qualities. A person who embodies the Dharma naturally draws others who value wisdom, compassion, and mindfulness. Thus, the friendships one forms are indicative of one's own spiritual maturity. 
the role of friends in overcoming hindrances in the pursuit of enlightenment. Friends serve as allies against the hindrances, sensual desire, ill restlessness, and worry and doubt. They encourage right effort, help cultivate concentration, and foster the conditions for wisdom to arise. The transformative power of friendship in conclusion. Friendship in Buddhism is not a mere social construct, but a transformative force. It is through the bonds of Kalanamatata that individuals find support, challenge, and inspiration on the path to enlightenment. As the Buddha taught, a good friend is a precious treasure guiding one towards the ultimate freedom of nirvana. 3. Self-discovery through self-discovery through isolation. Isolation, the journey of self-discovery, is a central theme in Buddhism, where isolation serves not as a punishment but as a profound opportunity for personal growth. The third key point of our discussion delves into how periods of solitude can be transformative, leading to a deeper understanding of oneself and the universe. The Inner Quest in Silence In the silence of isolation, the noise of the external world fades, allowing the inner voice to emerge more clearly. This is the voice of true self, often browned out by the cacophony of societal expectations and distractions. I isolation provides the space for this voice to be heard and understood, confronting the ego. Isolation strips away the roles and identities we play in society, confronting us with the raw essence of who we are. It is here in the absence of external affirmation that one can truly examine the ego leading to its eventual dissolution and the realization of anatta the principle of non-self. The purification process gizm views isolation as a purifying fire that burns away the impurities of the mind as one faces their fears, desires, and aversions alone they learn to let go, leading to chitsidi. The purification of the mind, which is essential for spiritual progress. Insights into impermanence isolation brings about a heightened awareness of the impermanent nature of all things as one observes the changing states of mind and body in solitude. The understanding of enika or impermanence becomes more pronounced, fostering a sense of detachment and peace, the emergence of compassion through self-discovery and isolation. One develops a profound empathy for the suffering of others. Recognizing one's own struggles, there arises a natural compassion for all beings, which is the heart of the body. The Gift of Isolation in Conclusion Isolation is not a curse but a gift in the Buddhist path of self-discovery. It is a crucible in which the alchemy of transformation occurs leading to the discovery of one's true nature, the cultivation of wisdom, and the blossoming of compassion. Embracing isolation as a means of self-discovery is to embrace the very journey towards enlightenment itself. Buddha's Teachings on Companionship 4. Buddhist Teachings on Companionship 4. The fourth key point in our exploration of Buddhist teachings is the profound understand, understanding of companionship as articulated by Gautama Buddha. Companionship, according to Buddha, is not merely a social engagement, but a spiritual alliance that can significantly influence one's journey towards enlightenment. Companionship is a spiritual alliance. Buddha emphasized the importance of noble friends, those who encourage us to live virtuously, to act with kindness, and to pursue the path of wisdom. He taught that a true companion is someone who challenges us to better ourselves, to overcome our shortcomings, and to develop the qualities necessary for spiritual growth. The four types of companions in the Adisa Buddha described four types of companions. The helper, the friend in happiness and sorrow, the good counselor and the compassionate friend. Each type plays a vital role in guiding and supporting us through life's journey, offering assistance shared joy, wise advice and empathy, the impact of companionship on the mind. Buddha taught that the company we keep has a direct impact on our state of mind companions who embody the Dharma influence us to cultivate positive mental states, while those who engage in wholesome behaviors can leave us astray. Thus, choosing companions wisely is crucial for maintaining mental purity and focus companionship. And the Eightfold Path, the Noble Eightfold Path, is the framework for ethical and mental development in Buddhism. Companions who are also on this path can provide mutual support, helping each other to practice right understanding, right intention, right speech, and so on. This shared commitment strengthens the bond and deepens the practice, the role of the teacher-student relationship in Buddhism. The teacher-student relationship is a special form of companionship. A knowledgeable teacher imparts the teachings of Buddha, guiding the student towards realization. 
The student in turn offers respect and openness, creating a dynamic that fosters profound learning and transformation, the essence of companionship in Buddhism in conclusion. Buddhist teachings on companionship highlight its essential role in the spiritual life. Companionship is a mirror that reflects our true selves, a support system that encourages our highest aspirations, and a fellowship that nurtures our journey towards enlightenment. It is through meaningful relationships that we find strength, inspiration, and the collective energy to progress on the path to awakening. 5. Embracing Solitude for Spiritual Growth Embracing Solitude for Spiritual Growth the fifth key point in our exploration of Buddhist teachings is the embrace of solitude as a catalyst for spiritual growth in Buddhism. Solitude is not a state to be avoided, but rather a condition to be sought for its profound potential to foster inner transformation and enlightenment. Solitude is a fertile ground for practice. In the quietude of solitude, the mind finds fertile ground to practice mindfulness and meditation key components of the Buddhist path. Away from the distractions of social interactions, one can fully engage in the practice of observing the mind and cultivating awareness, the monastic tradition and solitude. The monastic tradition in Buddhism underscores the value of solitude. Monks and nuns often retreat into seclusion to deepen their practice. This solitude is not escapism, but a strategic withdrawal to gain clarity, strength, and insight. Solitude and the Threefold Training Buddhism's Threefold Training Sila morality, Sam the concentration, and Pa wisdom is greatly enhanced by solitude and isolation. One can rigorously apply ethical principles, develop concentration without external interference, and cultivate wisdom through introspection. The therapeutic aspect of solitude. Solitude can have a therapeutic effect on the mind. It allows for a pause from the relentless pace of life, offering a space to heal from mental clutter and emotional turmoil. In this therapeutic space, one can process experiences and emerge with a clearer, calmer mind. Solitude is a mean means to connect with nature. Many Buddhist practitioners seek solitude in nature. Following the example of the Buddha, natural settings provide a powerful backdrop for contemplation and connection with the natural world, which is seen as an expression of the Dharma. The challenge and reward of solitude, while solitude can be challenging, confronting one with their innermost fears and doubts, it is also immensely rewarding those who embrace solitude often report a sense of liberation and a deeper connection with the essence of their being, the transformative power of solitude in conclusion. Solitude is a powerful tool in the Buddhist path for spiritual growth. It provides a unique opportunity to step back from the societal stage, to reflect, to heal, and to grow by embracing solitude. One can embark on a transformative journey that leads to greater self-awareness, peace, and ultimate enlightenment. 6. The Role of a Friend on the Path to Enlightenment The Role of a Friend on the Path to Enlightenment The sixth key point in our exploration of Buddhist teachings is understanding the role of a friend on the path to enlightenment in Buddhism. A friend is not just a companion for worldly interactions, but a fellow traveler on the spiritual journey, offering support and wisdom along the way. Spiritual friendship, the Kalyana Mita, the concept of Kalana Mita or spiritual friend, is central to Buddhism. Such a friend embodies the qualities of the Dharma and acts as a guide, encouraging one to adhere to the path of righteousness. They are a source of motivation and accountability, helping one to stay focused on the ultimate goal of enlightenment. The Mirror of Truth and Compassion A spiritual friend serves as a mirror reflecting the truth of one's actions and thoughts with compassion and understanding. They provide constructive feedback helping one to recognize and overcome personal faults and to cultivate virtuous qualities essential for spiritual progress, shared aspirations, and mutual growth. Friends on the path to enlightenment share common aspirations, striving to achieve liberation from suffering this shared vision fosters a deep connection and mutual growth as friends, inspire and learn from each other's experiences and insights, the support in overcoming obstacles. The path to enlightenment is fraught with obstacles, but a true friend provides unwavering support during challenging times they offer wisdom to navigate difficulties and remind one of the impermanence of life's struggles, thus providing a perspective that aids in overcoming them. The Joy of Dhamma Companionship the joy that arises from companionship on the spiritual path is unique and profound. 
It is the joy of shared understanding of collective striving towards a noble goal and of the, the deep bonds formed through spiritual practice, the SAA, the ultimate spiritual friendship, the SAA, or the monastic community, represents the highest form of spiritual friendship. It is a community where members live in harmony, dedicated to the practice of the Buddhist teachings, supporting each other towards the attainment of Nibbana. In conclusion, the role of a friend on the path to enlightenment is indispensable in Buddhism. A spiritual friend-friend is a beacon of light, guiding one through the darkness of ignorance and towards the dawn of awakening. They are the cherished companions whose presence enriches the journey and whose wisdom illuminates the way. 7. Finding Inner Peace in the Finding Inner Peace in the Absence of Friends Absence of friends, the seventh key point in our exploration of Buddhist teachings, is the attainment of inner peace in the absence of friends. Buddhism teaches that while companionship can be a source of joy and support, true peace comes from within, and solitude can be a profound teacher. In this regard, inner peace is the heart of Buddhist practice. Inner peace is at the heart of Buddhist practice. It is the tranquil state of mind that arises from the understanding and acceptance of life's impermanence, and the relinquishment of attachments, this peace is not dependent on external conditions, including the presence of friends. Solitude, a gateway to inner peace. Solitude offers a gateway to inner peace. It allows for the cultivation of mindfulness and the practice of meditation, which are essential tools for calming the mind and developing insight in the quietude of being alone. One can learn to find contentment and peace within oneself. The illusion of external dependence Buddhism teaches that reliance on external factors such as friendships for peace and happiness is an illusion. True peace comes from understanding the nature of suffering dukkha and following the path that leads to its cessation. This path can be walked with or without companions. The role of self-compassion in the absence of friends, self-compassion becomes crucial. It involves treating oneself with the same kindness and understanding one would offer a good friend through self-compassion. One can nurture a peaceful state of mind, regardless of external circumstances, the wisdom of detachment. Buddhist advocates for a wise detachment, not as a form of indifference, but as a means to inner peace, by letting go of the need for social validation and companionship, one can remain equanimous in the face of life's vicissitudes, the equinity of the arat, the arhat, a being who has achieved enlightenment in Buddhism, embodies the ultimate state of inner peace. They have transcended the need for external affirmation, including the need for friends, and, and live in a state of serene detachment, the sanctuary of inner peace in conclusion. Buddhism teaches that inner peace is a sanctuary that can be accessed at any time regardless of one's social situation. It is a state of being that emerges from deep understanding and practice, and once attained it, remains unshaken by the presence or absence of friends. 8. Conclusion. Self-Reliance and Inner Wisdom. The eighth and final key point in our exploration of Buddhist teachings is the culmination of self-reliance and inner wisdom. Buddhism teaches that while friends and teachers can guide us, true understanding and liberation come from within. This self-reliance is not about isolation, but about recognizing and trusting one's own inner wisdom. Self-reliance, the core of Buddha's message, the core of the Buddhist message is to be a lamp unto oneself. This means relying on one's own understanding and experience as the ultimate guide in the spiritual journey. It is through personal insight that one truly comprehends the Dharma and progresses towards enlightenment, inner wisdom, the light of consciousness. Inner wisdom is the light of consciousness that illuminates the path to liberation. It is the intuitive knowledge that arises from deep meditation and mindfulness. This wisdom transcends intellectual understanding tapping into the profound truths of existence, the balance between guidance and self-discovery. Buddhism values the balance between seeking guidance from others and discovering truths for oneself. Teachers and friends can point the way, but it is through one's own efforts that the fruits of practice are realized. This balance fosters a sense of empowerment and responsibility for one's own spiritual growth. The role of introspection introspection is a V-tool for cultivating self-reliance and inner wisdom. It involves examining one's thoughts, emotions, and actions critically and compassionately through introspection. 
One gains clarity and the ability to navigate life's challenges with equinity. The empowerment of taking refuge in oneself, taking refuge in oneself is an act of empowerment. It signifies trust in one's capacity to awaken and the recognition that all the necessary condition for enlightenment are present within this self-trust is a source of strength and confidence on the path the legacy of the Buddha's teachings. The Buddha left a legacy of teachings that encourage self-reliance and inner wisdom. His teachings are a roadmap, but it is up to each individual to walk the path the Buddhist life itself is a testament to the power of self-reliance and the pursuit of inner wisdom the journey to enlightenment. In conclusion, the journey to enlightenment in Buddhism is a personal and inward journey. It is a path of self-reliance where one learns to trust their inner wisdom and to draw upon their own experiences as the greatest teacher. This journey is not solitary for it is connected to the wisdom of all beings, but it is unique to each individual, reflecting the beauty and diversity of the human experience in the teachings of Buddhism. The journey to enlightenment is deeply personal and emphasizing self-reliance and inner wisdom while friends and teachers can offer valuable guidance. True insight and liberation arise from within this path encourages a balance between learning from others and self-discovery leading to a profound understanding of life's impermanence and the nature of suffering. Ultimately, it is the individual's own light of consciousness that illuminates the way to peace and enlightenment, reflecting the Buddha's enduring message, be lamp unto yourself. If you seek tranquility and wisdom on your spiritual journey, subscribe to our channel for more insights into Buddhism. Join us as we explore the path to enlightenment together. Click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.